Hi guys, welcome back to my let's play of Tomb Raider 2. In the last episode, I was kind of mad in the diving area. Yeah, so I died. I had done some stuff, but then I died, so I have to do all this again. What? I just climb, climb back up there. Can I get this medibacky dropped? I, I don't think so. Pick it up, or no, I cannot. That's a shame. So put this guy. No, nothing. So I have to go down into the water. I think there are some divers here. Deep sea divers, or what they call them. I don't think they're deep sea. So I have the harpoon gun, at least. Something good. Hello. Oh yeah, there's two of them. I think we could just ignore them and take some, so much damage than before. Just climb up. Climb up. Yeah, so this opens the door over over there. It's a bit quick. It's a bit very quick. I don't wanna die by these jerks. Where's the exit? Oh my god, I, I'm unable to find the exit. Oh no, I'm down here already. So Oh no, I have to take some I just died. That's a shame. I'm not gonna get aggravated like yesterday since it's gonna ruin my day so the first guy easy peasy and you do all right and now this time I'm gonna get his uh -huh. medi back since he was kind enough to not go jumping around in there uh where are there harpoon ammo here I recall that there were. Okay, may maybe there isn't. I think we should use the medibag already since I don't want to get killed by the divers. Hello, just don't kill me immediately. Okay, so this opening is almost on the surface. I mean, near the surface. So let's pull this lever or switch. And let's get down there. Just don't break your neck. Ouch. But these guys are really aggressive. I don't know why. Yeah, I think this session. Is oh, yes, there are the, there they are, the harpoon ammo. Yeah, so I was gonna say that I think this session is gonna be shorter than uh -huh. the other ones because it's finally warm and sunny in Finland. Oh no, this guy, these guys. Yeah, we don't. Our uh, summer is so short, and so we have to enjoy every bit of warm uh -huh. weather that we can get. So this guy's dropped uh -huh. some Uzi's. Uzi ammo. Hmm. So here's a switch. This moves the the uh, grain. Yeah, this thing. So let's get there. Can I just run through this? No. It's an actual object. I think there's a button here. 
Yes, there is. So what is that place? I don't really remember. But before we get going, let's save, since I don't want to do all this again. Like right here. Scrap. Oh. It's okay. Let's just take this rod instead. So where was that place? Is it here? No, it's definitely not here. This place still has water. So, it's gotta be here then. Someone's coming. Oh no. Yeah, someone's... what? I think someone is jumping around somewhere. Why are all of these doors locked? Oh, hello. So where's the dog? Yes, this is a bit creepy, actually. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, my. oh my Christ! And there's a guy. Hello. Ouch! Did you? No. Uh huh. Someone is still walking around. It's okay. Too bad the Fraps FPS counter is on the way of my health bar. I can't really see if, how much I have. If it's blinking, I know I have. A little only left. Hold up. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Wasn't this place like not flo flooded the last time I was here? Oh Jesus, I'm here. Okay. I totally forgot. So let's save it here. This guy, oh, oh, yeah, I'm on fire. Yeah, this guy killed me last time, and I had hadn't saved, so I had to start from all over again in the other place. Oh no, it's not that fun. Oh, we caught fire. Uh, let's try again. Maybe we should kill this guy first. So, we got the circuit card. This is not a key card, as I said earlier. Yeah, these guys don't really drop much, do they? Hmm. So, there's a red key card. Oh! We're in the middle of that corridor, the hallway. Okay, so let's return to that place. Where's that? What's it called? What's it called? I don't know what, what those things are called. Oh no, someone is still around. Oh no, what? Yeah, good. Good, good, because I think I'm supposed... No, never mind. I have to go there. So please get up there. Excellent. I don't think this makes any sense since this panel is missing a circuit board and this thing is on and when we insert the machine chip it just turns off. I mean, I don't think that makes any sense. That'd be horrible if it would just turn on when I'm right here. Uh -huh. Slice Laura's head open. So, we have a, the red key card. I think. Let's return to the middle, middle room of the corridor. 
there's a place for it. I mean, let's save again. Why not? I think we're approaching the underwater levels, the... Uh, what's it called? Maria Doria. And the deck. I think I've mentioned before that I hate those levels. Because there's a crap load of movable boxes. And the levels are so huge, huge in general. And I don't really appreciate these levels. At least in older games. Since I have no idea where to go. Oh! Oh, whoa. Did I just save it? I really don't pay attention when I'm saving this camera angle. So, that was sudden. I think the reason why, why I bungled speaking English in the last episode was because I, I was tired. I can't really even speak Finnish when I'm tired. I bungle up the words and it's gonna sound horrible. Yeah, recording when tired isn't really that smart. Smart. What is this smart? Okay, okay. let's take a medibuck before we take this guy out. Let's use our automatic pistols. Whoa, he's behind! Jesus Christ, he's... He did a lot of damage. Is there a point having a ladder here, by the way? I don't think it makes any sense. Uh, whoa! Oh, more guys. Hello! You should kill me. I've come so far. Oh no, Laurie's gonna get killed by these jerks. Whoa. Nice, some medipacks. Uh -huh. Oh, more. It's perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Guys, I, I wanna say perfect. Like British people say it. Because it sounds so awesome. Uh, okay, this I did not remember. I thought this uh, play, uh, corridor would leave us straight to the room where Mr. Bartoli is in. Hmm. Oh, just some harpoon ammunition. Oh no, nice timing. I'm gonna, I'm getting uh -huh. slaughtered by... Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna get killed by those harpoons as I pick them up. So is there anything in this direction? There isn't, except for some... What's it? What is it? It's like... Some gas. Gas. Some air, you know. Canisters, I don't know. So is this the end of the level? There's a door at least. Where does it lead? Uh, nowhere. I feel like saving since I'm getting a little paranoid. <laughs> it's pretty dark, so let's use this. Blood or answers. I have no preference. You should spill a bit of a both. <laughs> okay, Marco. Glad to have your heart. <laughs> what do you want? Come on, stick to your stomach! Uh, <laughs> the voice acting. Yeah, the voice acting is a bit questionable. But yeah, I like how they just play the, play the dialogue instead of just giving us a cutscene, you know. it's Sometimes it works better. Hello! Hello, Italians. Let's kill you. Oh no. So. I'm not sure if there's a secret in here or not. Because I know this 
that place has something to do with the cutscene that's gonna happen soon. But that's gonna get triggered soon. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't wanna trigger it yet. Let's just wait a second. Let's get back here. I wanna get over there since there might be a secret. Oh, oh yeah, sidestep. Number seven. I forgot. There's gotta be a secret, right? Hello. Well, I just wasted a flare. No secrets over here. Yeah. So let's get down there and end the level and I'm gonna end this session. Or is there any I feel like there's gotta be a secret or something. Okay, maybe there's not. Let's trigger the cutscene. Not one of them. But you are a monk. Brother Chen Barkang. You have come for me. I saw bright lights around me. That was gunfire. I think it was them who got taken away by it. But you are my guide, my path beater to a next incarnation. I have done my time here, haven't I? What are you doing here? In Marco Bartoli. Nothing. I, I led righteous life. Here for reasons rooted only in necessary evil. As my father was before me when he bombed Gianni's vessel deep into these waters. I like now Laura's I'm voice, a, voice actor or actress in this game. His son from salvaging the Seraph. The she Seraph. sounds so sophisticated. You know, I don't know, know the word. Work well. Sophisticated. You sure you're not here for them? Their Jackanory days are well over. They want the Seraph to unlock a malignant treasure we yeah, contain in awesome. our monastery What's in Tibet. Should it give in? Since being stolen by imbecile vagabonds centuries ago, we've been without key to it, relying solely on cleansing of our prayers to keep Next it subdued. Next to her are then the Chanel Elliot and Kelly Havis. Havis. Trouble we knew. He breathed life back this into ancient my opinion. belief, one not to be stopped by any amount of head bowing. And now again. It is here, Marco, infected with madness. He has violent mind, but not yet the power to satiate it. So, we reach for our weapons once more. The true detox of evil. Where can you be taking me? I thought this was my big break. This changes after the rest. Does he have red oh, eyes? I, I think he has. <gasps> oh, rest in peace, monk. That's pretty sad. Sad. I mean, annoying that the cutscene audio is a little off soon. I guess there's not much we can do about it. Yeah, let's go after him. The dubbing area. We've, we only got one secret. It's okay, so at least we got one. Yes, half an hour, a little more. Uh, we used a couple of health packs, hits, among used. All right, this was the diving area. I think the next le next level is the wreck of Maria Doria. I'm not sure if I even remember the ship's name. Was it Maria Doria? Something like that, I think. Yeah, alright. Thank you for watching this episode. Mm, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.